Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on, my people? Another day, another dollar. What's up with J4Light TV? JP hollering at ya. Coming at you again with this. Uh, this is a little clip from Fresh Fell. I like checking these guys out. They're kind of funny to me, man. Um, this one sh clip he had with this redhead chick here. She called him a misogynist. And because of a, um, a IG post he did, just basically telling guys, if the girls come to your house and don't want to do anything, call somebody else and ask her to leave. And she thinks that's a misogynistic move and he's this and this. And she can't get over it because somebody probably did it to her. But before we get off into this, let's just go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like button, and that notification bell. Um, appreciate you guys who are coming through, hitting that um, subscribe button. Uh, much love to you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Getting things moving. Um, let's just continue on and uh, I'll keep putting them out. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see what this craziness is all about. The, man the manipulation part and like the entitlement that you felt in that video just because a woman doesn't want to have sex with you. A cup. The audacity you have to punish her you have to play these manipulative so games. why are you entitled to his time then i'm not entitled to anyone's time you're saying by me removing her from the place then she's no, entitled I didn't. to my time i did not say that are you listening to what i'm saying no because you said you said it's misogynistic <laughs> playing those manipulative games like why the 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 what you said in the video that you feel entitled to having sex to to um sorry that that you feel like there should be consequences to the fact that she doesn't want to have sex with yes. you. yes there are consequences what's wrong with that she no longer gets my attention. That's if, the consequence. If, if, I'm, if I'm out with a girl, right? And obviously, I know what I want. She knows what I want. Why even come to my room? Like, I'm just saying, look, yeah. if, you don't, if you're not into the guy, you're not into that, understand. It's, it's your choice. You can yeah. walk away and say, you know what? This is fun. I got to go home. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. It's done. Right there, it's done. Mm -hmm. But I go to this spot and then be like, all right, I don't know, you know, da da da. What is that? Like, just just don't show up. Sometimes people don't like to give everything the first time they meet someone because that's that can be a little overwhelming. And that's fine. So maybe they might want to sleep with you the few days later. Maybe here's a problem. We're talking weeks, about what the woman but... wants. What about what the man wants? Why is and and that's what the thing is with this. Um, and ladies don't understand. Before I was married, I like I said, I went through all this shit too, and um, I actually had a woman show up. Came in the house, got undressed, got in the bed, undressed. And as soon as I start undressing, she said, what are you doing? I said, what you mean? Oh, I just came just to get some rest. And I politely told her to put her clothes on. Walked her to the door and told her, go down and make a right and don't come back. I didn't understand why and what was the purpose of what she did. But I was about to play the games with her. I mean, this girl got completely naked and got in my bed. So, it's out there. And it's crazy because this was over, oh, shit, I mean, 100 years ago. And stuff like that is still happening. That's what's crazy about it. So, I know exactly what he's talking about. She don't get it because maybe somebody did it to her. And that's why she's so peed off about it. But it happens. It really does happen. When a man exerts what he wants, it's misogynistic. That's the problem. Cool. You can leave if you want to. But guess what? I got my rest as well. I didn't want to get laid. Hey, Susie, what's up? Come of through. Course. What's wrong um, with that? So what is misogynistic yeah, about that of video? Of course, no. You have your right to whatever you want to do after that. But I'm saying uh, you don't see the part in the video where he's like, you literally, you said you have to manipulate the woman just because she play these mind games because she didn't want to have sex with you yeah like, like give her anxiety like literally give a woman anxiety because she doesn't anxiety. yeah because she doesn't want to have sex with you you said it in the, there's no manipulation in the video you just said it yeah she can Sorry, leave at any time what do you say respect her boundaries yep. she can leave what did part you not I... hear did you not hear the video he yeah, said competition anxiety. you want you have to create a competition anxiety so you want to give a woman anxiety because she doesn't want to have sex with you so yeah. okay Come obviously on. you don't understand how women work you said right? it She's trying to pick at little things that were said. She knows exactly what was said in this whole, that video. She knows exactly what he said. And he says that the woman has a choice. He has a choice of putting her out. 
he doesn't have to let her stay there. And that's what he did. He told the woman to leave. He didn't do anything else. But as you see, she keeps trying to pick, find little things to, to be right. You know, the need to be right. That's what it is right here. No matter what, I need to be right. I don't care what y'all say. Why you want to give a woman anxiety? Uh, uh, it's competition anxiety, which means you letting her know I have other I can call. Like y'all do. Y'all do they do it. Y'all call up another dude. Y'all been doing videos talking about this stuff forever. If he don't do right, call somebody else. What he won't do, somebody else will do. All that shit. That's that's y'all stuff. So deal with it. In the video, I mean, you're but I get the point of the video too, where you know, like if that's what you're looking for, just to hook up, the other person has to respect that. Exactly. And yeah. If, and if you tell well, them clearly it's okay they, to they leave, don't respect it because you guys are saying we're misogynists for exerting that boundary. You should be tactful, like when you talk to people. Like you have to be. You don't have to, but it's it's the right thing to do to consider their feelings. You could be like, hey. She clearly doesn't consider my feelings. You don't have to call her in front of the girl. Oh, here's the thing. Here's you the thing. You could just be like, hey, can. Um, why? I gotta why? Do something. Why should I respect leave? her feelings when she's not giving me what I want? She's not respecting my feelings. So why should. See, that's the problem. Women want it one sided. I want you to treat me like a princess regardless of whatever. I want you to give me the attention, whatever. But when a man puts his foot down and says, listen, I have boundaries too and I have requirements as well. You don't want to fuck it out. That's what I, and what I was mean. very polite. I wish they would have showed some clips of some of the girls coming on this show and talking about how they do men and try to get over men and what they're about and all that. And that'll shut them up. Like this girl had the blue hair. Why the fuck you got blue hair? All right. But the girl with the blue hair talking about, well, you need to have more tact. We, well, just be more, uh, no. Because the women are out here trying to be tactful. I just looked at some stuff this morning. Women talking about black men hate black women. What, what the fuck is that? But it's, it's just the kind of mentality that we're talking about. Like, y'all put this stuff out. Now men are coming back and stating things and standing up for themselves finally. And y'all don't like it. So just deal with it, man. That's what you got to do. Let them boys, hey, if he ain't said tactfully enough for you, he said enough what she understood. That's all you have to do. He told her to leave. He didn't tell her to get up, take her clothes off, or get in and get out. He told her to leave. That's what you do. I right about it, too. But if I call right. another girl, right, here's the thing. I can't choose how a woman feels. It's fine. That if I call another know. girl, it's called competition anxiety, which means... Other girls want guys that other women want to be with. So if I call another girl and she feels competition anxiety, it's not my fault that she feels that way. I'm doing what I'm going to do. How she feels is irrelevant to me. Right. It's fine that she does, that you do tell her, you know, hey, um, I'm looking for, like, a hookup or whatever. So, like, you know, it's fine. Like, I, I can have somebody over. But to actually call somebody in front, like, that's kind of, like, it's crap, like a little disrespectful. You know? Lame. It's yeah, disrespectful. Lame. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. It's disrespectful that she doesn't want to have sex. It's disrespectful that a woman yes. doesn't want to have sex. Because, it's disrespectful because, to who, though? Okay, to it's disrespectful because I've spent my time hanging out with this woman, and she doesn't want to have sex. Four plus so hours, therefore, money. she doesn't want to have sex. Cool. You got to leave now. Like I said, it that's is. Th that's the problem. Well, like It is okay for women to exercise their... Um, their they're able to leverage sex against men for compliance, but it's not okay for men to leverage attention for compliance. Well, that, if that's been established at that point, that's, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but it's applied, I mean, though, because if, if, if you're going out on a date with a guy, and then you're like, you know what, I'm going to go on a date with a guy, spend hours with him, have him spend the money, and then you go to his place, and you're like, you know what, I don't want to have sex. That's mad disrespectful. Why don't you tell him in the first place, you know what, I don't like it that much, but let's... If you're the woman, say, hey, you know what? I don't like it that much, but let's be friends and see what happens. No sex tonight. Tell them up front. Don't wait. Don't play this type, kind of but monster. Some people, you got, I, I, see, I agree with old dude, man. Um, I, I saw this one, and I don't know if it was on here or some other, other um, YouTuber, but the girls were on there talking about the man has to eat them out at least five times before they even consider going all the way with them. And that's like five different times meeting up, not five times that night. That was their standard. And now listen to this shit. Now that's her standard before. So this guy got to wine and dine you 
five at least five times. Then he gotta eat the box out. Then you may decide to deal with him because you may decide not to deal with him from that. But you don't have all these meals, all this time, all his time. You don't got yourself sexually satisfied, even though he hasn't been satisfied. And then he's like, well, I'm going to move on. So that's what he's talking about when you're talking about using up a guy's time. He's not letting this girl take up his time, which I totally agree. He asked her to leave. If you're not trying to do this, then you need to leave. And I need to get somebody who is trying to do this. That's just life. Nobody wants to sit around with somebody who, I mean, some women just don't find some people sexually attractive, but they like hanging out with them. And that's fine. But if he's looking for sex, you can't be around that. You can come around when we got the boys here. If you want to be a homeboy, then come around when my boys are here. But not like this, you know. So, I don't know, man. This this is starting to be some bullshit here. But let's let it run. Man. I'm sorry I went too far on that. Yeah, let's let it run. I have, yes. a, I have a perspective and I have a different type of view. So, sure. in my opinion, I feel like if you go on a date with a guy and you don't like the guy, and let's say that you said you've been dating for a long time, if he invites you to his house, don't go to his house. Some girls go to a guy's house and Facts. like they're in bed with the guy yep. and they're cut cuddling with the guy yep. and they're there making out with you Half doing naked. the most and yeah. then when the guy tries to make a move they're like whoa no, i'm out of here like it. no don't end up in his room in his bed if you don't want to do yes, anything there you go from That's the it. beginning there if you're is. at dinner and you have no intentions of being with that guy do not go home with them i go work in the morning I no, go home early. You, you don't have to do that cuddling and the whole thing that's mm. that's not it's the, not the, gonna work the, the point i'm trying to make which you guys just don't understand is a man's attention is not free just like your sex isn't free he is not entitled to spend another second with you if you don't want to fuck and that's the problem that women have here you went to the extent of calling me a misogynist for exerting a boundary which the woman also exerted as well it was in response to her asserting her right i don't want to have sex cool you no longer are going to get my attention how is that misogynistic than me hating women i, I think that's me being intelligent about my time I've repeated myself like five times, but I'll say it again. Um, the definition of misogyny, hate and or contempt for women. All, I think you guys she are not she's straight the up shit. That's what the problem But somebody did it to her and blatant. she don't like it. I don't think you're blatant about it, but you have a lot of misogynistic <laughs> tendencies, which I think that's the key of this podcast. So you guys are able to reframe these ideas into a way that's consumable for like modern men to be like, oh, yeah, this is OK to listen to, which this is a whole other thing. But I was just saying that. I was asserting leadership and dominance misogynistic. You know, there's a very small percentage of men that actually don't like being, uh, they prefer being submissive, so they prefer a dominant woman. I mean, uh, that's obviously the not the case for most, the yeah. but... The exception does not make the rule. I well, actually met a couple, a couple men that prefer as women yeah, that lead. A, a couple. A couple. Yeah. And are you dating them right now? <laughs> no. Exactly. Okay. You exactly. yourself don't even like a submissive yeah, exactly. man. Okay. okay. So, it, it, like, we can't use exceptions to the rule, guys. Like, we, we go on a balance of probabilities and how the world really works. The world really works where leader, uh, dominant. I just didn't like to date. But you, like I said, you said in the video. You... And I didn't intentionally try to make her feel bad. I just called another girl during the regular course of action. There you so... go playing manipulative games to cause a woman anxiety like you said in the video that's not intentional suffering playing manipulative games to not give a guy sex after he takes you out on a date oh, God. so I, I have a question it goes both ways man like that's the thing it is okay for men to suffer consequences from inadequacy from date as they should as they should a woman has the full ability to be able to make the guy suffer consequences for fucking up but the man should be able to as well okay it but... is very telling that when i made the point and i said it about women no one says anything when I say the man has to make the woman suffer consequences too, man. whoa! No, but I think if a woman were to do the same as you said, like to try to make a man feel bad by calling another man to make him jealous, that's not right either. Of course, that's not right. So what's worse, losing fifty dollars on a date or making somebody or hurt their feelings? Why is it? Why? Wh who said fifty dollars? Who goes out on real dates and spend like fifty dollars? Where you going to fucking McDonald's? Like, they kept saying fifty dollars. It ain't but fifty dollars. Come on. Y'all are trying to drink up more than 50 fucking dollars just because you're just trying to get it in. But it's not, y'all not winning. You're not. That a man losing exactly. $50. Hold on. Why are your feelings more important than that man's time and money? Because and you're energy? putting value um, and money over um, a person. You know? did, did the man have to work to earn that money? 
<laughs> 50 bucks. Yeah, through drops, you, you know. You, you yo, money, so right? that's, this, this is, <laughs> yo, this is hilarious. Yo, okay, five hours. You're stuck on 50 time. bucks. Who said 50 wage. bucks? Five hours every time. Okay, you're going to get that money back, but you just put so, so your, many. So your temporary feelings of feeling bad of me calling another girl outweighs the time and money it took for me to plan a date, take you on a date, spend my money that I earned. Temporary. Some people, it could be temporary, but for some other people, that's something that really might hurt them. You know, so your feelings are more important than my time that I spent earning this income to take you out. No, it's the intent. I think you guys are missing what I'm saying. That it's like, wow. On a, <laughs> I'm like, bro, like this is, it's yeah, the this intent. Is some if I, if BS, I decide to know, I'm not going on a date with you because I, I really don't. This is some BS. All right, guys. I, I was trying to hear this. That, that you know, basically the redhead girl is butt hurt. Maybe somebody did the shit to her. Um, put her ass out when she wasn't trying to put out and that's fine you know and that's life all like i can say all this shit is life if you ain't live life you know you done gone through some shit like this male and female side so to sit there and try to act like you a massage you no know, they got all these names they calling us and shit you know misogynist and all these other fucking names and what's it your, your um what's they say that relationships are, are toxic and like you was in a relationship too, doing crazy shit. So you was a toxic person too. But they don't look at it all this stuff. But they calling us all these crazy names they done made up. And I'm just like, you know, like one chick calling to do a narcissist because she found out he had a girlfriend that he went back to his girlfriend. But she decided to have a baby with him after knowing him for like a month. Less than a month. And she only seen him like once once every two weeks. So she only knew to do it like two or three times. She met up with him and she got pregnant. And because he didn't want to be with her, he going back to his baby mom. Because they were talking about getting married. Now she said he was a narcissist. So that's the kind of shit they use when they fuck up. So I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. But all this new shit that y'all doing, ladies, y'all just killing yourselves. I'm telling you, killing yourselves. And um, like this young lady here talking about what to do you know you so stuck on the feelings the feelings versus the action the girl did not want to do have sex he said okay you're not gonna stay up in here you got to leave and i'm gonna call somebody else but the video keep going and going and they go so far as to say you know that can be you know what he said and like make a guy want to go out and rape a girl and do all these things and and I was like, what the crap, you know, and they went now calling you now. You like the R word, you know, I'm, I'm probably off for saying that, but I need y'all know what the R word was. I won't use it anymore, but yeah, that's the kind of shit they were saying on here. You know, I'm just going to go through the whole thing because it's, it's slow and boring as hell with them dingleberries on here. But it's just, it's just sad, man, that we, we got into this and the women thinking this and then they have a panel on here tomorrow with women talking shit on how they dog men out so i wish they would did some clips back of some of the girls that was on there before and let them see this is how you guys talk but when we say it we get called all these names see that's what they should have done but hey i guess they got caught up in it didn't think about it at the time but that's cool but i'm gonna end this non well not this none but this fucking foolery and i'm gonna get up out of here so with that being said don't forget, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And I'm just out of here. Y'all take care. Another one in the books. Peace. Y'all have a good one. Um.